Mohamed Kamara starts warming up for his training early in the morning. He says he usually can't afford to pay for the bus to the stadium downtown. So most of the time, Mohamed trains here in his neighborhood, sprinting up the hills on the outskirts of Freetown, Sierra Leone's capital city. This modest training ground understates the enormity of the challenge ahead of him. So far, Mohamed is the only athlete from Sierra Leone to qualify for the 2012 Paralympic Games in London. I'm so very happy, I'm so very glad to me to take my country over there in London to represent the, the, the nation of Sierra Leone. Mohamed is a sprinter, running both the 100 and 200 meters. He's able to compete in the Paralympics because he had his left arm amputated. Mohammed lost his arm during Sierra Leone's civil war, which ended just over 10 years ago. Fleeing the devastation of his hometown in the country's interior, he was captured by rebel fighters. They chose to make an example of him and cut off his arm. He was four years old. Then capture us, take us to the bush. We are five, start to chop our hands. Said that let us come to the president at that time. It's Mohammed Tijan Kaba is the, ex the president at that time. Said that let us come to the president. We go to give us our hand again. Now 18, he will be the second athlete in the country's history to compete in the Paralympics and the first since the end of the war. Mohammed qualified for the London Paralympics after placing third in a 100 meter race at the 2010 Commonwealth Games in Delhi, India. Though Muhammad's legs are fully functional, without the forward momentum derived from swinging both arms, it's harder for an athlete to run as fast as an able-bodied colleague. He trains with two coaches, both of them unpaid. Joseph Lahai has worked with Muhammad for the past five years. When making such achievements, when they have a talent, when they are focusing, all the difficulties, you have to undergo them in order for you to achieve. Because of his disability, Mohammed can't help but imagine he may have lost the potential to become a world champion able-bodied athlete like his hero, Usain Bolt. But as a survivor, he says he's found another calling, standing up for the rights of people with disabilities in his country, some of the most vulnerable in society.